You know, uh, about a year ago, I found this really neat drawing, three-dimensional drawing of a turtle, and I thought maybe I would um, make one for uh, for Kay since she's the turtle collector. So I uh, took this drawing and put it in my CAD program and created uh, some cut files for my CNC router and uh, I uh, drew up a little base support so I'd have something to hold it when I flipped it and then I created these first a roughing file um, to take off most of the wood off the top and then I when that was all, all cleaned up why well, I, I created the finishing uh, file for the top of the turtle with a quarter inch ball mill a rounded end mill and that slowly created the final shape. I flipped it over and did the same thing on the other side. I um, did a roughing cut and then a, a smoothing cut uh, with a ball mill and just stepping over five or ten thousandths uh, each time. And then I took it out and started cutting and uh, mounted the uh, one foot by one foot by three inch block of maple on, on my router. and. Uh, put the software in and, and, and the file and started to cut. And as you can see, it just slowly goes down. And I'm cutting a lot slower here than I really could. I could cut a lot faster, but I was so worried about ruining this piece of maple that I went at it really slow just to make sure everything would come out all right. And there you can see it's just about all roughed out. It's just finishing up, you know, uh, a, a few spots that, that the the program uh, goes in there and touches up and that's a half inch uh, flat end uh, bit there that's able to take away you know a lot of material and then we end up with this uh, with this roughed out uh, drawing and then we go in with the ball mill and it, as you can see there it's it's just running back and forth and stepping side to side it's actually coming toward us and it uh, uh, does all the final detail. You can see the the little ribs in the in the in the back there showing, and um, going to require a little sanding. And uh, here it is, just I think about done, and and uh, uh, about ready to lift the head up. And uh, then I you know sanded just lightly to get rid of any of the tooling marks that were on the top. It's easier to sand when it's bolted down. So then when I get done, I had to get ready to flip it over and remount it. So I added some pieces of wood to it that would hold it up off the table. And, and then I injected foam into there so that when I cut the bottom of the turtle out of the remaining part of the maple block, it doesn't move on me. So I taped over the, the turtle and uh, with uh, painter's tape and then squirted in uh, expanding foam is just a couple dollar can of great stuff and squirted in made sure it didn't expand too much I mean that stuff's got a lot of strength it could have pushed those two boards apart but by um, taking my time I was able to do that now here you can see the finished I've cut out the did the rough cut and the finished cut off the uh, off the bottom so it's it's just sitting in there floating now it's not uh, it's not hooked to anything. It's just the tape and the and the foam are holding it solidly in position as I finished uh, the final belly of it and then and, and, uh, 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 you know cut it out completely. So it's it's one basically it's a loose turtle right now. And that's the hard part about uh, machining stuff is the holding. Holding you spend more time figuring out how to hold it than you do anything else. And here it is. I took the removed the little piece of maple that was left off of there pretty much chewed it all up and now it's just stuck to that other board so now I got to slowly figure out how to you know, release it from that board without breaking off a, a flipper so uh, I pulled the one off and, and uh, we're kind of looking down you know on the top there and we'll we'll eventually uh, carefully take that little foam away and and then we'll end up with uh, with the turtle popped out of there, which it did. And you can see the tape and the foam on the left there that just kind of peeled off. And uh, it came out, uh, you know, 
much better than 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 I thought for the first try at doing something like that. I do a lot of that in metal, but I have different fixtures to hold things to so to to flip something over and keep it lined up so the bottom matches the top was was a trick and I was quite happy with that. So put a couple coats of um, Danish oil on it and then a, a few coats of uh, poly to uh, to seal it up real good and and uh, there's the, the finished product. I created a base out of uh, some scrap Corian and, and uh, uh, laser uh, engraved a little placard to go on there. And, and uh, anyway, I, I think that uh, Lily liked it. Bye. <laughs>